And the quest giver seems to be over here. Oh, ramp. Sitting up here watching the area. I see the power's back on. The ants are all dead? Yes, it's safe to go down there now. Maybe Pearl is right about you. Because I don't know how you pulled that off. I'll tell Loyal to send someone down to clear out the eggs and repair the generators. Good work. Accepted. 300 experience. Awesome. Now, where is... Uh, quests. Things that go boom. Where is... The leader again. I can't remember her name. I know there's more quests I can do here too. I can take care of that robot problem for you. Just saying. What robot problem? What? That, that was odd. Uh, in this house? Maybe? No? Oh, over here, this door. Pearl, right. That's who I'm looking for. How is your visit with us going, stranger? Um, you tell me, what do you people have to say about me? I may have heard a compliment or two, nothing special. I'm still trying to figure out who to help and how. Each of the elders would appreciate assistance with various issues here in Nellis. Seek out Jack, Loyal, Raquel, and Argyle. They will guide you. Time to go. Okay, so is there like a... I guess this one? Okay, yeah, this quest points me in the direction of all the different people that I can help. Uh, closest one is right over here. I think... Nope. There we go, now we're pointing in the right direction. This one here. Right. This one? Schoolhouse? Hello. No. So many arrows. This building? I know Mother Pearl is letting you wander Nellis as you please, outsider. But I have patience to tend to. I'm looking for ways to make myself useful. I have three patients here who were gravely injured fighting those giant ants in the generator building a few days ago. I've stabilized their wounds, but they're in bad shape. Do you have medical training? Uh, medicine. I have extensive medical knowledge. Let's see what I can do. If what you say is true, you can do us a world of good. Awesome. So, so what do you want me to do? Yes, outsider? I need medical treatment. I'm afraid medications are... Uh... Still looking for ways to make myself useful. There's still patients in need of treatment. Okay, so I guess I just go click on them. Uh, treat. With the kind of combined... Blah, blah, yeah, okay, he survives. Excellent treatment. I'm not reading all that. Uh, and then over here. Um... Leave him alone. 60? I don't think I have 60 medicine, do I? No, only 45. Leave him alone. So I need 60 medicine in order to complete this mission. Yes, outsider? Uh... Nothing. So if I quick save, what happens if I try and attempt to treat? Uh, you have just enough skill to recognize that you are about to do more harm than good. You stop before causing any serious complications. Okay. And if I try this one? Uh, okay, so can't do anything else here. Lame. What else can I do? Uh, I can head more north. Over here. And there's another person I might be able to help in some way, perhaps, maybe. And here, the museum. Oh, this is the one where I just have to listen. You're the outsider. 
Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Um, I'd like to know all about your people. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? Sure, I can spare the time. Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> oh, that's a very nice mural. Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. We left and wandered the wastes. They were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades, burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here our mighty guns destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways. Nellis has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. And that is our story so far. For this last image, it is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, running high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. And fame gained. Wait, what's that? Snow globe. Awesome. Second snow globe found. It wasn't stealing to take it. Now that you know the story of our people. Um. I'm looking to make myself useful. Who needs help around here? Gosh, there's a lot of fun. Over at the workshop, Loyal and Jack are all. Okay, so stuff I don't really need to know. Yeah, I think I got the fame from that. I got the gist of it. They don't like outsiders, they like to blow them up. Bomber is really interesting. Can I fly that? Because that would be really cool. And Loyal, I think, is over this way. So we'll head over and see what he has to do. Well, what we have to do for him. Head over and find out what his mission is. I guess is what I'm trying to say. And in here. Should have got the mission when I was talking to him at first, but I didn't realize. Uh, in here. And straight ahead. Yeah, there he is. What is it, outsider? Uh, I'm looking for ways to make myself useful. If that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? Nothing too complicated about it, but it's a long ways to walk my old bones, and there's been that ant problem over near there. You can't miss the array. It's on top of the generator building smack dab in the middle of Nellis between the two runways. Uh, I passed through a place called Helios 1. Maybe I could find parts there. How should I look for spare parts? Uh, where should I look for spare parts? Huh. If we had spare parts, do you think I'd be asking you to fix the damn things? That's rich. No, we ran out of spares a while back. And Jack and I have been doing our best to patch the arrays up as best we can. Sadly, we're at our wit's end. There have to be spare parts somewhere around the wasteland, but I just don't know where to direct you. You may have noticed we don't get out much. Uh, I passed through a place called Helios 1. Maybe I could find parts there. Are you talking about that damn bright light we've seen blast off to the south occasionally? I was wondering what the hell that was. If they've got the parts, bring them on back. We need to get the array back up and charging. Okay. Be sure to stop on back and let me know when the arrays are fixed. Interesting. I have to go to Helios 1. I haven't actually finished the quest line there, but I might be able to just stop off, get the parts, and head back. And then the final quest... Um, 
I think is out this way. Yeah, all the way over there. Okay, I'll go see what that is before I head to Helios One. Just saying. Um. What is it, Outsider? So I guess the fourth one here is. The next time you leave Nellis, keep an eye out for missiles. We're down to a five-year supply for our launchers. Will do. Come find me when you've got some to turn in. I've got some missiles for you. How many? Sorry, I don't have any. What? Okay, so also it seems like I can just optionally pass in missiles to get my reputation up with them. Let's go pick up Boone and Eddie and then get repaired. Actually, I've been thinking about it and I think it might be time to switch out Boone. I, I've had him for a while now, but it seems like I've been doing a lot more close combat type situations. Um, like a lot of, I don't know, a lot of areas where it's not as open now that I'm sort of doing specific lines. Um, I'm in, I'm ending up in combat situations where I've got you, um, I'm not just out in the wilds checking hollow arrows. I'm like in small confined areas. So I think it might be a good idea to maybe switch Boone out. Now, um, for who is a good question though. I want to double check something a while back in one of my videos when I was near the strip. It was pointed out um, that somewhere in this area there is another companion I can get that sounds kind of cool. I don't know how good it'll actually be but sounds interesting enough that I should take a look around. But basically somewhere around this area I've been told I can get a robot dog companion. I'm not sure if that's replacing Eddie or Boone though, but um was it here? What's going on? Oh. Why is his skin blue? That's That's kind of weird. Anyways, is it this building? That hurt me just watching it. I really have no idea where I'm going. I'm just sort of looking for Did this. You hear someone manage to fight their oh, what do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? Who's the king? Who's the king? You believe this asshole man? In Freeside, the king's rule. And the king rules the king, got it? Um, I'd like to see the king if possible. Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? Um, I'm new in town and I wanted to pay my respects. You know what? I like you. Half the people around here, they forget who runs this place. Head on through. The king is a bored looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. They wait to the chairman and flee the strip after being caught? Oh. I wonder if they're hiding out in Freeside. Look, Rexy, someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? Uh. Do you always charge people to come talk to you? Charge? <laughs> Pays must be added again. What did he take you for? Nothing. I talked my way in. Pace must be losing his touch. Either that or you're a smooth one. So, what can I do for you? I figured you might have some work for me. Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what, you do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? Uh, what do you need me to do? I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? Yes. Good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, my man tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fellow named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him. Play the part of an innocent tourist and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? Sure. Okay then. Once you part ways, return here. I'll look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. 
Interesting. So I'm taking it that this is going to be the companion um, that I could possibly get. Um, and then it was also said that the brain that I found on uh, one of the dogs in Caesar's camp can be given to him. Um, yeah, this brain. Lupa's brain. So interesting. Um, My eyes on the street tell me you haven't paid our mutual friend Oris a visit yet. So it seems like in order to get that companion though, I might have to go through a quest line. Uh, what do I want to do? 